My name is Jesse Gamble. I'm a grade seven teacher at Gilbert Patterson Middle School. This is the second year we've done this uh, reconciliation art project. We've incorporated in a lot of cultural aspects. Uh, we've talked about a lot of uh, intergenerational hurt and what started as a small group art project has grown into a community piece, has grown into an inter-school piece, and has really caught the attention of a lot of kids uh, within the greater school community. Uh, this year, we have both Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal students uh, participating, uh, some from an uh, immigration background coming from Syria, some uh, local, some who have been through trauma, some who have not, some who love art. Um, together, we're getting to know each other. It's also intergrade, so kids from grade six to grade eight are interacting with each other where they normally wouldn't in any other kind of circumstance. As an educator uh, and someone who's passionate about history and anthropology, uh, I think this is a phenomenal program. Uh, Jason's been brought in as a guest speaker. He's a published author and artist. He is really offering kids things that I can't. Um, I'm not an artist. I mean, every artist says, oh, everyone does art. I'm not an artist. Uh, but Jason is, so he gets to bring that piece in. Uh, he has some published works and he's encouraging kids to go that extra mile and, and really try to express themselves in a way that I don't think anyone in this building can do. Uh, when you ask me about publication, I have no idea what to do. Uh, Jason, on the other hand, has a great system set up, a system that makes it easy for kids to actually publish their work and call themselves published artists. It doesn't matter the skill, it doesn't matter the medium, photographs, painting, story writing, whatever. He uh, brings a lot to the table to, help, table to help enhance that student experience and really offers something unique. He's going to collect what the students produce and we'll figure out kind of what the end product looks like from there. Um, but again, we have with Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal students, uh, kids with hurt and kids without, who knows what the end product will be. It'll be unique regardless of what kind of submissions the students make. This is a fantastic experience. It's, it's an organic experience. It's not like we're shoehorning rhetoric or anything down anyone's throats. It's just a place to feel comfortable and ask questions and learn. Um, it's one of the only environments uh, that I've been in that really mixes art and history together. And I, I love it. My name is Jason Eaglespeaker and I'm a uh, author, illustrator, and I'm the founder of uh, eaglespeaker.com, which is our publishing uh, agency. Uh, I'm here at uh, Patterson School to uh, collaborate with a group of youth to publish their stories, photos, uh, video, illustrations, drawings, um, with the goal being that we can tell their stories and share them with the world. So it's a uh, we meet on a weekly basis. In the beginning, we met to uh, get everybody excited about book publishing and how it looks. And in the second week here, we're just discussing some of their ideas. In our next week, we're gonna be bringing in their submissions. And then the goal after that is to get their published book out before Christmas. So it's actually a pretty uh, fast process. So it's part of what I do is collaborating with groups. I also collaborate with individuals to publish books of personal struggle. Uh, I also put out my own books. I also accept submissions with for finished manuscripts, that type of thing. <laughs> my hope is that they realize that we all have a story to tell and that people throughout the world are dying to hear what these indigenous youth have to say. We have no clue what they're going through. We have no clue how they process. We don't know how they endure. And so when we can get to a point where they feel that they can share their stories and the world is listening, that it'll set them on a different path uh, as opposed to just going to work for somebody. It may set them on a path to go work for themselves, you know, using their own life as their source material. So it's empowering with their own, their own story and being able to educate people that they will may never meet. Usually with these, um, these group projects is to, is to get them familiar with just how uh, putting a book together works. And then the next step that I'll do is I'll collaborate with youth on an individual basis and we'll, do a, we'll collaborate on a book, um, just the two of us. And from there, I teach them about how royalties work. And so if it's a collaboration like that, 
then all um, collaborators receive 50% of the net royalties from every book sold. So not only is it um, learning about publishing and learning that you can share your story, but it's also learning about passive income, which is something that, especially Indigenous people, we're usually taught to work for others. And so this is an opportunity to realize that you can work for yourself and you're surrounded by source material, um, your daily life. You know, it's actually been a fantastic experience and I know that uh, the teachers and the students and the principals have found this to be a really um, fantastic way to connect school with the outside world, how to make impact beyond school. And it's a great gateway for students to to make, take it to the next level. So I'm looking forward to doing this more with Lethbridge School District, other school districts, and so on.